Doreen Grand Pichet is the doctor. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grand Pichet. Doctor Grand Pichet. Doctor Doreen Grand Pichet. Doctor Doreen Grand Pichet is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Doctor Doreen. Welcome back. We are here with Dr. Doreen Grampuche, and I'm looking at the Facebook, but I, and I know that there are comments there, but I can't see them, and I don't know why, and I'm going to figure that out. Um, but we do have other comments that have come in to us and other questions. So I want to start uh, with this one because it's a particularly fabulous one. Hi, thank you for such an informative show. I'm a BCBA, and for those of you who that's a new term, that's a Board Certified Behavior Analyst. Uh, I'm a BCBA and working with a 13-year-old girl. She does not make any decisions on her own and will ask her peers to make a decision for her, even for simple things such as what color marker to use. If her therapist does not make a decision for her, she leaves the room to ask someone else. How do we teach her to make her own decisions? That's awesome. It is, it is awesome. Yeah, and uh, I, I have a couple of quick suggestions. So one is don't let her leave the room until she makes a decision and uh, that's number one like literally she needs to make a decision before she's going to leave second thing is you could actually even make the decision at the door in other words uh, you have to pick a card and if you pick you know you can't see what's written on the card but if one card says stay and the other card says leave and it's, she has to pick it from the back, but she has to pick one. Okay. And if she picks one that says leave, she can leave. And or you can even show it to her. And if she really wants to leave the room, then she has to pick the card that says leave. And the other thing is have her make positive negative choices. So don't start with two things that are neutral. Um, if she's hungry, she, let her choose a food that she likes. <clears throat> and the alternative choice is one that she hates. Um, if she needs to go to the bathroom, have her choose the, uh, I don't know, card that says I need to go to the bathroom as opposed to the one that says you have to stay. Like give her choices where there is a definite, uh, clear choice for her. Start there. Um, if you know her preferences, like food preferences, anything preferences, time preferences, clothing preferences, uh, jewelry, make whatever is her, pre I don't know anything about, she's 13, so you're going to have a lot of preferences. And have her choose, uh, give her the option of choosing something she really likes versus something she really dislikes. And then gradually introduce things that are also neutral. When we do choice, the first thing we do is always a dichotomy that's pretty clear. So it's like you definitely, the child is definitely motivated to choose the right thing. Mm -hmm. And that'll help with just choices. And then you gradually have to just put her in a position where even if the two stimuli are neutral, uh, she still has to make a choice before she can go to the next activity. And really, that's as simple as it gets. I, well, it makes me think of there's a video in Skills. When, and, and Skills is a tool that you can use um, that does many different things. But it has lessons. Mm -hmm. And a lot of lessons have a video that you can click on that shows a therapist doing the lesson right. with a child. Right. And there is a video of Logan Shepard um, that is, is doing uh, choices, and the therapist is sitting there, and she has a bottle of Italian salad dressing yeah, that's, and a lollipop. Right, that's for, that is for the, uh, the reading facial expression. Lesson. Oh, I thought it was for choices. Yeah, no, no, it's for reading facial expression. So basically what she does is uh, she has a lollipop and salad dressing. Right. And this is the period of time when Logan didn't really like sal He hated salad dressing. Right. And so it was, she would say, which one do I want? That was ah, the stimulus. Okay. Which, well, that's the ST. What do I want? And he, of course, being at that point, I think, two to three, right. says the lollipop, right? right? And gives her the lollipop. Right. And she takes the lollipop and, and licks it and then ah. goes, like a facial expression, oh, like, I, I hate this. That part. Yeah. And then puts it down and says, I'm hungry. Which one do I want? And the lesson is that Logan learns right away from her facial expression 
that that wasn't the one, even if I like that one, it's the theory of mind lesson, right. she doesn't. Ah. So I need to now try the other thing, gives her the salad dressing, because in the beginning, she does the lollipop and goes, does the salad dressing and goes, mmm. <laughs> so then now he's reading and then finally gives her the salad dressing. She sips it and says, yeah, or something like okay, that. Okay, I totally had it remembered but wrong. No, but so I it's mean, a totally <laughs> not, that doesn't apply to this. But, but it gives us the opportunity to say that there are videos that demonstrate Absolutely, these and it would, it, you could use the same stimuli and you could put in front of him the lollipop because we knew at that time his preference was lollipop. Right. Put the lollipop in the salad dressing and say, pick one. And that's just making the choice, right? The, yes. In this case, the BCBA just wants to make sure this girl makes a choice. Okay. I, I have a question.